Do you still find difficulty in learning and teaching long division? Don't worry because today I'm going to teach you three methods. These methods are based on experience and they are very effective. They are not found in any book. So let's go. Welcome back to Jay Fernandez Tutorials. Like what I've said, I'm going to teach you three easy and effective methods in teaching and learning long division. But before I give you the first method, please memorize this acronym, DMSB, which means divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. So let's have this one by a two-digit divisor. Usually, in dividing numbers by two-digit divisor, we start also with the first two digits from the left. Okay? As long as this one is bigger than the divisor. Otherwise, we take the three digits. But because 86 is larger than 23, let's take 86. The first method that I'm going to teach you is called cover-cover system. This is very applicable to those who are very good in estimating. So how is it done? Like what I've said, we have to take 86. So let's cover. So what do you see? 8 divided by 2, right? So in this method, it will help you to identify where to start. Because in long division, we usually have the trial and error. So we start with... 8 divided by 2 is 4. We start with 4. Take note that the product should be less than or equal to 86. So let's see. 12, 4 times 2, 8 plus 1, 9. So as you can observe, 92 is bigger than 86. So what do we do? We have to subtract 1 from 4. So. 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay, let's now try 3. 3 times 3, 9. 3 times 2 is 6. So, is 69 less than 86? Yes, so we can now proceed. Okay? So, after multiplying, we have to subtract. 6, 9, we have to borrow. So 16 minus 9 is 7. 7 minus 6 is 1. And then after subtracting, we have to bring down. Bring down 5. Again, we apply the cover cover system. Let's cover the last digit. Let's cover also the last digit. What do you see? 17 divided by 2, right? So, 17 divided by 2 is 8. Let's try again. 8. Okay? So, let's now multiply. 8 times 3, 24. Times 2, 16. Plus 2 is 18. Again, we got a higher product. So, what do we do? We have to decrease the number by 1. So, 8 minus 1 is... Seven. First, we erase this one. May I just use my hand? Okay. Let's multiply again. Seven times three is twenty-one. Seven times two, fourteen. Plus two is sixteen. So is it okay now? Yes. We cannot proceed to subtraction. Five minus one is four. Seven minus six is one, and zero. And after subtraction, we have to bring down. Bring down 4. Again, cover. Cover this. Cover this. 14 divided by 2 is 7. But you can see that 7 is 161. Right? And 161 is bigger than 144. So, we have to subtract 1 from the number. So, let's try 6. 6 times 3, 18. 6 times 2, 12 plus 1, 13. Did we arrive at the lower product? Yes. So, we now subtract. Borrow. 
this is now six. So, we are done in the bringing down everything. Therefore, this is now the remainder. Remainder six. How do you check if your answer is correct? By multiplying the quotient and the divisor. Let's check if our answer is correct. 376 by 23. 6 times 3 is 18. 21, 22. 9, 11. 2 times 6 is 12. 14, 15. 6, 7. We have 8, 4, 6, 8. Now, what are you going to do with the remainder? We have to add plus 6. Mm -hmm. 54, 6, 8. If we have the same answer with the dividend, then our answer is correct. So did we arrive at the correct answer? Yes. Let me tell you that in mathematics, it's not a matter of speed. Unless if you are in a quiz show, that you have to be fast. It's a matter of arriving at the correct answer. So if you do it the long way or the short way, it's okay. What matters is your answer. Another example, let's again try the cover cover system. This is a two digit, so let's take this one. This is bigger or larger than four digit. So let's cover and cover. Nine divided by four is Two, right? After it, we have to multiply. Two times two is four. Two times four is eight. Is it less than 98? Yes, so let's proceed. Subtract. Eight minus four is four. Nine minus eight is one. And then bring down three. Again, let's cover three and two. What do you see? 14 divided by 4 is 3. Let us check if 3 is okay. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. Is it less than? Yes. So let's proceed. Now, let's bring down. Again, let's divide. Let's cover. Cover. 17 divided by 4 is 4. 4 times 2, 8. 4 times 4 is 16. Is it less than? Yes. And then finally, subtract. 12 minus 8 is 4. So this is now remainder 4. Again, if you would like to check if your answer is correct, you have to multiply the quotient by the divisor. And if there is a remainder, you have to add the remainder to the product. So that is cover cover system. We proceed to the second method. We still use the same problem. 8,644 divided by 23. The second method is addition method. In this method, you have to add 23 for 8 times. Okay? Let's do it step by step. Add for 8 times. This may be longer, but like what I've said, it doesn't matter how long your method is, as long as he will arrive at the correct answer. So after adding for eight times, mark the numbers up. So we have one, Nine. Because 9 is the maximum digit that you could put as an answer. Okay? Now that we have marked up all of the numbers and all of the sums, we proceed. 86. We have to look into the marked numbers which is less than or equal to 86. 83, 46, 69, 92. So, we choose 69 because this is less than. We cannot have 92 because it's more than 86. Okay? So, the thing that you only do is to copy 69 and then copy also the number. 
three. Next, subtract. So we have seven, and then one, bring down five. Again, you have to look into the numbers. The number which is less than or equal to 175. So let's see, the number should be this seven. Because we cannot have this 184, it's larger. We have 161. So just copy 161. And then the number beside it, seven. Proceed to subtraction. Four, one. Bring down. For the last time, let's look into our list again. 144 less than, oh, 138. So we just copy 138 and then copy six, subtract. 144 minus 138 is six. So did we arrive with the same number? Yes, we have the same answer as before. 376 remainder six. Another one. So again, we use the same digits, 9,832 divided by 42. So in addition method, let's plot. After marking them all up, let's proceed. You have to find a number which is less than or equal to 98. We can have 84. Just copy. And then 2. Then proceed to subtraction. 8 minus 4 is 4. 1. After subtraction, bring down 3. Again, you have to look into a number which is less than or equal to 143. So this is 126. So just copy. And then 3. Subtract. Then bring down. Let's look into our list. Again, 168. So we have 168 and 4. Lastly, let's subtract. So this is now the remainder. Again, we arrived at the same answer. Now we go to the last method. This method is very applicable to those who are good in multiplication. How is it done? Let's use the same digits as before. So 8,654 divided by 23. We have to multiply 23 by 1 to 9. Okay, you have to use them down. This all the products. 3, 2. 23 minus 2. 6, 4. So just like what we did in addition method, you have to look into a number which is less than or equal to 86. So we have 69, right? So you just copy 69 and then copy the multiplier. 3. Let's now subtract. You have to look into the list again, which is less than or equal to 175. This is 161. And then copy the multiplier, 7. Subtract, 4, 1, bring down. We have 138. Just copy 138. And then... The multiplier, 6, subtract. Did we arrive with the same answer too? Yes, we did. Let's try this one. 9,832 divided by 42. Third method. Let's multiply 42 by 1 to 9. 
After multiplying by 1 to 9, let's again proceed to division. So, you have to look into a number which is less than or equal to 98. Let's have 84. Just copy and then copy the multiplier. 2. Next is subtract. 4, 1, bring down. Let's look into a lesser number. 126. Copy the multiplier and then subtract. Bring down. Let's look into a lesser number. 168. Copy. And then copy the multiplier. Then subtract. So, did we also arrive at the same answer? So those are the three easy and effective methods which you can employ in your classes. Or if you are a learner, then you can follow those methods. Are you ready for the quiz? Okay, so I have here five items. So you may pause this video for a while, then come back for the answers later. So we have number one, 8,356 divided by 35. Two, number five, 8,226 divided by 33. Are you done? So let's have the answers. Number one, 238 remainder 26. Did you get it? I hope so. Number two, 197 remainder 36. We go to number three, 364 remainder 7. Number 4, 111, remainder 10. And number 5, 252, remainder 10. Thank you very much for watching the video. See you again in my next videos. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for more updates. Keep safe, God bless, and goodbye.